どんな願いも叶えるんだろう分かった。The Dragon Ball Daima anime is finally here and in today's video we're going to talk about all the events of this first episode and we're also going to analyze the main details to imagine what awaits us in the next episodes. Hello warriors, my name is Kyle and welcome to the Dragonverse Stories channel. Before we start, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new content, okay? Without further ado, let's get straight to the video. Well, there are so many things I'd like to comment on, but let's go step by step so I don't get lost. What a wonderful animation! The art style is very similar to the more recent Akira style, the style that many people hate, but the way it turned out here it was incredible. Add to that a soundtrack that makes the rhythm of the scenes a wonder to watch. At the beginning we have a basic summary of Dragon Ball. Goku, Dragon Balls, Saiyans until the title of the episode appears, Conspiracy. We are transported to a world, the demon world. The throne of this castle in a previous era would be occupied by Dabra, the former king of demons. Goma and Dejizu are practically doing a react of the Buu saga. This part at the beginning is very funny because they are furious that Babidi kidnapped the king of Dabra. Another interesting thing is that Shin, the Kahio Shin, is the brother of this other boy who looks a lot like the Kahio Shin, but he is not. Those of us who understand more or less the universe of Dragon Ball already know that he is a Makahio Shin, but the episode does not give this information. However, I am sure that as the series progresses this will certainly be explained. Especially because at the end he says, I am not a Kahio Shin, I am another type of being. And when they see the powers of Goku, Vegeta and the others, they are amazed. How is it possible that these absurdly powerful beings exist in the outside world? Dejizu even wonders if these people aren't magents, in this case, demons, which already suggests that in the demon world, which is their world, there are privileged people in terms of powers. But the interesting part comes now, Goma says that they aren't magents, because they don't have pointy ears and pointy ears are a characteristic of the people of this world. At that moment I thought to myself, oh my god. The Namekians are really demons. Finally, Piccolo Daimo will make sense, since he vomited demons and was a pure evil incarnate. Anyway, a little later they confirm this. It is not explained how the Namekians escaped from this world, but when did Jesus sees Piccolo and Dend in the video he says, so they escaped to the outside world? But despite this, there is still a Namekian in the Makai world, the elderly Neva. This world also has Dragon Balls, but there are only three and they are protected by a Tamagami beings that seem to be very powerful. When Goma sees Dabra being devoured, he is completely terrified. I can't believe it, they ate Dabra, but Dejizu saw something good in this situation and said, now you are the king of this world. Just like Dabra, this Goma must be a Makahyo. They also collect information that the dragon of planet Earth grants three wishes. Later, we are introduced to Dejizu's sister, the beautiful <laughs> Dr. Rinsu, a scientist. With this, I already start to think about the possibilities of having demonic androids in the future, will there be? Moving on, it seems that Goma and Dejizu are two characters with little intelligence. I suspect that it will be Dr. Arinsu who will be the real danger in this whole story, since she is the one who warns the two to be careful with the guys from the outside world. But Goma doesn't give them much attention and he also reveals that he has a plan. He says he will ask Dragon to turn them all into children. Where have I seen that before? Well, while they were discussing this plan, a guy was listening quietly, his name is Glorio and it was already clear in the trailers that he will ally himself with Goku. So Goma and Dejiza meet with Neva, the elderly Namekian. The detail is that he didn't know that there were still other Namekians, it seems that they all ran away without him and didn't even warn him. And here we see Akira's comedic skills shine. First because the old Namekian walks very slowly and this makes Goma furious and besides, he also smells bad. Anyway, when they get to the clouds, they come across this type of fish, this animal is the doorman. People tell him where they want to go and he lets them go without any problem, which even leaves them confused, wow, was it that easy? I really thought it was incredible how they managed to transport them from one world to another. 
It's not a common and basic teleportation, it's not just going through a door. They enter the animal's mouth and then enter a hole where they are dissolved. A crazy journey ensues and they end up in this other world that has another doorman fish animal that asks them a very interesting question when it asks them which universe they are going to, and Dejizu answers that they want to go to the seventh universe. This makes me wonder, won't each universe have its own Makai kingdom? Will it just be a world completely outside of the universes? The doorman reveals to them that Dr. Arensu also went to universe 7 before them, and this makes it clear that she has secret plans, and that these two are just pawns on her board. Anyway, they are transported while on Earth, Bulma and Vegeta's son Trunks' ninth birthday party is taking place. Here is another comical moment where Krillin says to Trunks, Hey kid, what are you going to grow up? And Trunks responds, Look who's talking. Goku comments that the Saiyans have a growth spurt around the age of 15, while Gohan's growth spurt happened at 11. Then Goku starts to mock Vegeta by saying that Vegeta also forgot to grow up. And here we see Kahyoshin and Kibito, completely separated. How? At the beginning of Super they were still fused. Shin explains that he asked Majin Buu to absorb Kibito Shin to see if the same thing would happen with Vegito, but it turns out that they discovered that Majin Buu produces a mysterious gas that can reverse the pot era fusion. And finally we have the answer about Gohan's whereabouts. They ask where Gohan is. Then Goku says that he's studying hard, but remember that Gohan appears on that cover at the beginning so he must appear. Well, I made a video theorizing about why Gohan doesn't appear and I also tried to explain how Shin and Kibito separated. I'll leave the video in the description and on the pin card, okay? Finally, Goku and Vegeta start fighting. Vegeta, you <laughs> Meanwhile, at the lookout, Goma, Dejizu, and Neva appear. At the time, the Dragon Balls were still in a petrified state, as they had only been used recently. But Neva shows that he is amazing, they even say that he is the original creator of the Dragon Balls. But wait a minute? What about the Super Dragon Balls? I'm confused now. Continuing, Neva makes the Dragon Balls return to their normal form so that they can be used again. Den tries to stop them from using the spheres but is hit by Dejizu and thus Shinran is summoned and Goma asks him to transform everyone who fought against Buu into children. And here we have another comical moment because Shinran was very detailed when asking what age group Goma would like everyone to be transformed into. He even asks about children, so Goma asks that the adults become children and the children become babies. And that's how the episode ends. And I have to say, I loved it. I felt young again. I completely remembered when I watched Dragon Ball Classic in the 90s. The essence of Akira Toriyama is here, it's among us. And what can we expect from the next episodes? Well, I believe we'll see something similar to what we saw at the beginning of Dragon Ball GT. We'll see everyone preparing to start the journey to recover their true forms. And of course, we still have to see what happened to Gohan and especially if the leaks about a supposed new transformation of Vegeta will be confirmed. Will we have Vegeta Super Saiyan 3? Will Vegeta give in to evil again? Well, I've already made a video about that, I'll leave it on the pinned card and in the description. But now I want to know your opinion about everything we talked about in today's video. And if you've done it this far, leave your like and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next videos.